Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this morning I awoke to a very exciting message in my Instagram feed and it was in regards to a new show that's supposed to be premiering on Netflix in December. Do you guys have any ideas as to what show I'm referring to? Does anything in my background or that I'm wearing give you guys any clues? Yes, <laughs> it's the new Selena series and I'm so excited about it. I thought this was a perfect opportunity to share another one of my favorite Selena sketches with you guys. The sketch I will be sharing with you guys this time is going to be the Amor Prohibido album cover. It's one of my favorite album covers and I love that she's wearing that big exaggerated ruffled poet blouse and the leather jacket on top of it and of course she has her iconic red Selena lipstick on. So that makes me wonder, do you guys have a particular album cover that you guys like more or just in general a favorite album of hers? I would love to hear it. If you guys do, please sound off the low. And now let's jump into the iconic Amor Prohibido album cover sketch. Let's start out by outlining that ruffle around her neck and adding the leather sleeves of the jacket. Don't forget those ruffled cuff ends. And then let's move on to the front of that jacket and add that button detail. I personally love this jacket. I love the fit and it's totally giving me 1990s Versace vibes. Let's not forget that ribbon detail in front of this blouse, and then let's move on to her pants. Let's try to make the fit look like the inspiration picture on the left. Now let's switch out these strappy pumps to her cute little black boots. Now let's jump in and fill her out with some solid colors. Here I'm moving into the shading aspect of her jacket and really looking at the inspiration picture to see the shadows and where the light is hitting to really capture that in my sketch. I want to make sure that the highlights are as bright as they seem in the picture so that it's giving me the effect of leather. I did choose a more gray toned black on my leather jacket as opposed to the purplish tone that the inspiration picture has, just so that it seems like a more true black on my rendering. Now let's move on to her pants and shade those out as well. And as I was doing this, I was observing her and I thought, you know what, she needs a little bit more curves. So I added a little bit more hips, because you know what, Selena definitely was a little bit more bootylicious. Now let's give those pants a little bit more highlights to give them that leather look. Then we're moving on to that poet blouse and giving it that off-white shaded look. And now jumping into her face and shading it out, I really pay close attention to the reference picture and see where the shadows are, where the highlights are, to really capture where the light is hitting her and emulate her bone structure. Now let's move on and shade out the rest of her body parts. Moving on to her long luscious locks, we're going in and shading them out to give it some dimension and then after this we'll move in and use a fine calligraphy brush to really give it individual hair strands. Let's also go ahead and give her some wispy hair details. And now let's go in and apply some Queen of Cumbia Red MAC lipstick to finish off her pout.
And let's also add some shine detail to all the gold elements of her outfit. And let's finish off those booties and add some shine to give them that leather look. Now let's go and scan her over and just give her some finishing touches here and there to finish her off. And here we have her all complete, our Tex-Mex Queen of Cumbia, Selena, from her Amor Prohibido album cover. I absolutely love how she came out. I love how we've captured her essence and her 1990s Tex-Mex Queen of Cumbia realness. And I'd love to know what you guys think of her. Did you guys enjoy the video? I hope you guys did. Also, are you guys excited for the Selena Netflix series? I know I am. I want to hear all your thoughts, so please sound off below. And also, Please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with all of your friends. I really would appreciate it and it would help me a lot. Please remember that you can follow me on Instagram with the same handle name, Mendozagram, and I will see all of you in my next video.